Hey, chat. I would like to start off by saying sorry about last night. But, uh, yeah, I don't like storms, so. I probably could have come back on afterwards. But, yeah, I don't it's fine if now. If the keystone was constructed to store its origin point within, uh, it would need to be expressed in a unified so, language. So, to make up for that, I'm gonna try and go for a little Since longer. 
The keystone has reacted over an hour and a half this time. To to the energies below. I the am energies tired, below. still, uh, yes. thinking of things to say is a little bit harder than usual. Place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the keystone acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the origin point information I turn the game up a little bit. If the keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. Sound. There we go. The shadow moves against us. Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Alnar Temple alone, An Matriarch. excellent question. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much. I miss my boy Zeratul. Oh, hi, Blonde. Ignore the fact that everything's frozen. I tabbed out. Zoom. I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go. I am well. Hello, Sushi. Are you calling me a hoe, blonde? I see how it is. Unfortunately, I can't. You'll probably like it. And then I won't get any fun out of it. Where's my monster? There it is. Speak of the devil. Anytime, Artanis.
seems fate has drawn us together. You should not tempt it further. I should just make a StarCraft movie. The shrines call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far, all, all right. are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Here we go. Progress has been difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races working together to seek out the whole. I wouldn't exactly call the Zerg ascended, Artanis. The shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. Oh, shut up, Artanis. You're willing to kill her a minute ago. I serve my people. Let's see. I need to remember I my abilities. Must... Let us make for the shrine. She's got kinetic blast, fury, a bold plan. lightning dash. It seems the temple has gone. There can be no doubt. Halt! Do you sense that? A great power awakens within this construct. Purity of form. Purity of essence. Prove your strength. continues. <laughs> You have my attention. Our destiny awaits. So the well, that was easy. The keys. Hope you enjoy this temple fight. No. Let us proceed. With Onward. I lead. But first, I have to grab this thing. Emit solar energy. We should gather them. Our knowledge. I need that solar right. Heritage. Look out! Hybrid. Oh no! It's a reaver. Whatever will I do is dead. No doubt. Another construct. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Strength in unity. I don't usually use hotkeys as much, but this is like the perfect time to ow, do it. My psionic abilities can mend our wounds. We're missing a key. The future is up. A key is still missing. With honor. Kerrigan, the construct is coming for you. Well, that's not very nice to you, Mr. Construct. You were supposed to stay over there. Artana, stop dying. The future is ours. A bold plan. This is a wide open room. We are strong. With honor, I lead. I don't see any more Zonaga devices though. The shrine still functions. I think that means we have to sit here and wait. Oh no, it's Mobius Core and the Talgarim. Not quite. It appears a Silly Reapers. Into the temple. We must Do you guys like Banelings? I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. Our destiny awaits. Oh, I should use that on that. There can be no doubt. I come this far. If they can't land, then they can't do anything. <laughs> oh. Together, we are strong. 
Jumpy Banelings to the rescue. I... I see now. The Zelnaga were the first. Born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. The squid people. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. And in the void, they can be killed. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the keystone and find our way here. You know, it is called a keystone, so you would think it's a key of some sort, right? Amon indwells my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Long way to go and more ours. things to kill. Slaughter to enact. Uh oh. Honor, lead. It seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? Gonna need all of you fuckers to die. Silly dominators. Alright, can't get through this door because it's collapsed. It appears the are preoccupied. We should engage them while they are fighting the constructs. Alright, to the door. There can be no and through the door. With Where the fuck? Oh god. What fools you are to attack me. Change is upon us. The Where the fuck are the Zelnaga artifacts at? This passage has caved in as well. Wait. Oh Perfect. shit. Artanus, can you stop dying? There can be no shall serve as your Whoever was talking, I killed him. My search continues. Oh, uh, there's one. Our heritage. Oh, no, I shall serve as our tomb. I've come this far. Hey, look, a Thor. They're fighting another construct. Hey, look, a siege tank. Our Be a damn shame if they got killed, huh? Now open the door. The Queen of Hell demands entrance. Anytime now, Dor. Today. The future please. Is ours. Welcome back. I didn't even realize you left. You didn't say anything. Ready your blades, Templar. Well, I guess I will summon some banelings. The banelings can just go vibe over there. Our path is clear. Oops. I've come this far. With honor, I, I should get some noms too, but I'll be fine for now. Looks like we've earned a breather. I have monster. You're up, Artanis. I have the liquid soul of a demon. The shrines look like they're covered. It fuels me. How do you know what they say? 
Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning, purpose. What sort of knives you got there, Blun? It was here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe. Yes, but your soul is too happy and they pure, so I won't get any energy just from it. Just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes, every time they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. I've already drank almost this entire can, and I've only been streaming for 20 minutes. I need to slow down. To emerge. One pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change. I've had microwave and cheeseburgers; they're not that bad. Form, a being capable of vast Unless you do it wrong, the cheese melts all over the place, and it's a little not great. Of a Zelnaga. Oh yeah, let me rephrase. Tainted and horny. Does that fit the bill better? Essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amor who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack. Uh-oh. That's a big fucker. Look at that red one there. No longer. Our salvation will not be stolen from us. Dawn will come. With There's still an artifact I have to find. Let's get to that shrine. A bold plan. Oh, I have to go left and right. I need answers. No time like the present. The Dark God has foreseen your death, Karen. We shall deliver you to it. What about you, Sushi? What are you doing? No time like the present. Boldly. I need answers. By blood and fire, we shall be reborn. These people are maniacs. Well, they are Reapers, so. Takes a maniac to go run into that thing and get killed. Oops. Our path is clear. A bold plan. Change is upon us. Our destiny. Dawn will come. Just keep Our running, just clear. keep running. Oh fuck. Where's the Answers. goddamn artifact? Found it. I've come this far. Our future is as one in the void. Four minutes left. Continues. I'm not worried. There's plenty of time. I am Our destiny awaits us. For Zeratul. For Aya. That behemoth does 50 damage a swing. I my... Your queen. It's done. I just realized our Tannis only has 200 health. Gods of yours a little weak, aren't you there, buddy?
Oh yeah? Like, where? What'd she say? Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. Squid people! Huzzah! So, what do you say? Ready to meet your maker? Indeed. Come. The Chamber of Ascension lies ahead. And our salvation All the Zelnaga are dead. No. They're dead, Artanis. Broken Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer. Uh oh. Oh yeah, now I unlocked Taldarim because this is when Best Boy shows up. One of many best boys, of course. There's a lot of really good characters. Such as Stukov. Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. <laughs> Come as your enemy, Dark Templar. You must listen to me, Matriarch. Amon's tribe is sprung. Your leader is in grave danger. You think us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened the gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, 
first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. Alarak is like the only character in this game that'll be a worthy fight against me. Matriarch. Please visit the solar core to configure it. You should know. This ship that we're on, he teleported on board this ship through its shields. Void energies flood and then he broke out of a stasis chamber. Each passing so, the he's quite powerful. Do not, trust him. not more powerful than me, but... It would be a fun fight. He's also got one of my favorite lines. Do you think us fools? Yes, but that doesn't matter right now. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. Let's see. We'll go Solar Lance. Solar Lance is always good to have. And I'll put some jewelry charge in there. Um, so I got all this stuff here. Strange. The Keystone is extracting energies of. I see Rohana is being consumed by Amon again. There is very little logic in threatening someone that's possessed. Because they're possessed, what are you going to do? Kill them? What do blood hunters have? Huh. Let's try these out. Where shall we march? Let's see. So I switch back to Centurions. Crusaders, Annihilators. Okay. Let's get on to this mission. Your hey, I unlock Hyde's own part in this mission. Apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe. So, considering that I have the achievement, I clearly did not fuck this up as badly as I remember doing it. This is a Race Against Time mission, by the way. As you can see from this door here, there's evil red energy coming out of it. Kinda looks like my energy that I have when I use my powers. Red lightning's cool. Lightning in general is cool. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your hierarch. I am waiting for you. Matriarch. Our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. 
But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our hierarch. The darkness will be repelled. Onward. Unleash psionic storms, brothers. Let these hybrid thralls feel the wrath Get fucked, of Marines. the Templar. For Artanis. For Artanis. I serve. My centurions are way faster than these poor Templar. Shall endure. I have heard of these Terran Spectres. Focus their energies into a feedback loop. They will not bear it. My charge. Feedback is a interesting bit. Oh, hey, Aqua. Oh, hey, look, it's Kerrigan. To me, my swarm. Templar, join us quickly. Lurker stream. Your thoughts are clear. Before Azum, your forces have arrived. Look at all the red energy of the evil void. Must be shut down before it tears us apart. Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The gateway draws power from these void crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. Ah, sealing the gate, that's easy. It'd be easier if I had our tennis, but that's neither here nor there. Let's make an Archon. I wonder. The darkness is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. I hope you're getting ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many Zerg as I can spare to I'll go as fast as I can. Let's see. We continue I slightly fucked that up. I need fifty energy so I can shoot solar lances at this. Move in and destroy it. Let me grab this gas. Pull him closer. Uh, that would require me to find someone to make a model blonde. That also means I need money to pay them. So, no, I don't. I asked my sister about models and she was like... They cost, you know, upwards of five hundred dollars and stuff. So. To be Zell Naga vessels, ancient power sources. If we can locate them, I should be able to use their energy to free up additional solarite from the Spear of a Dune's core. Our spirit is indomitable. Exactly, five hundred bucks. So it's going to be quite a long while before I... Warriors, hold back from the Shadow Tendril. It will only consume you. Do that. What Shadow Tendril? Crystal destroyed. Sensors are showing three more remain, Irock. I heed the call. Let's see. The darkness will be repelled. I don't actually know what's down this way. We've secured a Zelnaga vessel, Carax. There's one of those vessel things, though. Unbelievable. Despite eons of inactivity. These devices are still at full power. Warriors, 
Hold back from the shadow tendril. It will only consume you. What shadow tendril do you mean? Focus I'm not near the shadow tendril. Artanis is getting senile in his old age. Almost off cooldown. There we go. Warriors, hold back from the shadow tendril. It will only consume you. Two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two. Yeah. Soldiers. Hybrid are moving to attack our nexus point. Ready our defenses. The shadow guard waits. Oh, they're attacking up here. Casually storming myself because I'm an idiot. The swarm is engaging our enemy. Your Templar are welcome to join in the hunt. My charge, as ever, I serve. I need more minerals. All right, they got that handle, so I'll send my little tiny army this way. Ah, fuck, I need the core. Not there, there it is. Need my little mini pylons. What's here, anyway? There we go. I have to go find those thingies, too. Let's get an energizer down there. Where did my army go? Well, my entire army is dead. That's on me for not paying attention. Bane blades. Well, I have to rebuild my entire army. Sounds like it's raining outside again. The crystal is free of defenders. Our warriors can destroy it whenever you are ready. They can destroy it in a second. I don't think you do, because with rain comes storms usually. So annoying. Only one remains, and the portal is growing unstable. We must destroy the final crystal and do so with haste. Hybrid inbound on our nexus point. 
We got plenty of time, Karax. Calm down. Yep, it's raining again. Um, I'm not actually sure, Blonde. I mean, 3D would be cool, but I think maybe like just 2D is probably cheaper. My minions and I are pushing towards the crystal. Care to join us? The second Zelnaga power source has been secured. I only detect one. It's not like I'll have that kind of money for a while anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's see. The rest of the solar rays gotta be over here. I fight on. I shall this battle. Somewhere over here, at least. So be it. In the name of the many. There it is. That is the last of the vessels, Karax. Understood. I am transferring the final power source now. I'll just stay as a PNG tuber for a while. You call upon me. Disable those void crystals. My hive cluster is taking a beating. Your hive cluster's fine. Don't worry, Kerrigan. The final crystal has been secured. Destroy it, and victory is ours. Oh, that was easy. It was kind of detonated till I wasn't looking at it. Now we have to go help Alarak out for a while. We fought well this day, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have. Gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders. But I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. I didn't kill 15. I killed 10. I got close. Oh well. Artanis, Hieron, the Twilight Council. Another thing I'd probably have to invest in if I get a uh, so much more. actual model is. Watch uh, a webcam. I mean, the camera on my laptop works. Uh, blonde, I can't draw. Otherwise, I would not be hollow. Hollow is the closest to my 
character I can get. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Protoss. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's Maybe I should commission a drawing before I go into like modeling and stuff. The start of a full scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me. In invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, Hello, I Nux. Are... Of hostility Just normal. Our people. Phoenix. I wasn't Allow seeking to do anything, you know, strenuous. I just wanted to play through the campaign discuss. while people watched. What do you mean, how loud am I? Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. You're the first person to complain about my microphone audio. Usually I'm too quiet. Rohana, I turn it down a little do bit. Do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it. And when we die, our spirits become one with yeah. it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon Well, that would be because the us. game it's, it is super low. Its existence. Its time must end. Artanis... Through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made Everyone else always says it's the other way around. They can't hear me over the game, so the game is really low. The vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Kind of think of it, the game's pretty quiet for me. I guess I'll turn it up after this conversation. to him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You Let's must see. choose among them. Kassar de Templari. I don't know. I don't really use either of these, honestly. Guess I'll take mind control. Alarak's vanguards have joined our cause. It order seems our surprises have no end. I do it. Order me to war. These are cool. I like these. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Olmar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, what were we talking Omar about like five minutes ago? I oh yeah, drawings. Zeratul's so uh. Prophecy. Is no longer clear to yeah, me. I need to get a to drawing made so I have a reference for a model. Here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential. I had a friend that was drawing Zoe I for me, but to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. I've been waiting on that drawing for going on two years now, so I don't think it's coming. Hyrock, I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zalnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan. It ex 
extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. And then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, See ya, Aqua. Karaks. We have a war Have fun doing wherever, whatever you're gonna go do, wherever you're going. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calderine speaks truth. I am synthetic, a replication, a lie. What did you find in the archive? My death, my rebirth as a dragoon, and then my death at the hands of this queen of blades. I am not Consider famous, the following. Instead of getting shot memories, by people in Tarkov, shoot own. them. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. I need more monster. Let's see. Let's max out the shields, I guess. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you. As it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. All right, Artanis, calm down. This is something I hope to win. I forget what the next mission is. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zerg broods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun. Send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion.
All right. What do I get from this planet? Colossi. Siding or Void Rays. Is indeed a risk. Tassadar. Let's get Colossi first. Oh. I my bad. Decision Nux. Many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artemis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! So set in your ways, Rohana. The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't That'd be kind of cool if hybrids could dance. That'd be fun to see. This will not be easy. Oh boy, more conversations. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. Be right back, chat. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am, how I came to be. Now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he I was turning on the AC, it it's hot as hell in here. I have learned much and yeah, normally and hell is pretty hot, but them, it's hotter than hell right now. I to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. My favorite thing about Rohana is she is supposed to be an advisor, and we haven't listened to a damn word she has said ever since. 
getting on this ship. The shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Here we go. I think I remember how Indian goes. At least the first part of Indian. Some units can attack multiple targets at once. This tip has nothing to do with the Colossi that we're about to get. Cyrus, the Bolt of the Purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I clicked on the Zerg and nothing happened. I clicked all over it. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs besieging enemies from afar. Kind of like Hollow, but kind of not. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. If you want specific details, ask me after stream. Or DM me or something. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Ha, <laughs> silly Banglings, you're not purple, you can't jump. Get fucked. Ta-da! Done. Well done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. Let's see how fast I can do this mission. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. All right. It will be ready to move out soon. So that's building a bunch meantime, of workers. I've I need to turn all these on. facilities to construct colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. Got my centurions, my colossi. Let's see. I need to put a pylon here and a pylon here. Well, so chat, while I wait for my minerals to accumulate, how are you? What are you all up to? At this nice, lovely hour of 9.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm not cute, I'm evil. Do I have a forge already? No. The megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. Megalith is on 
mine. We must ensure it reaches the species. The Megalith is also armed, easily. so that's helpful. I guess I'll just attack and move my way this way. The power of stuns and the ouchie beans. I think there's a secondary up here. Or maybe it's not this cliff. It might be the next cliff. Is it this cliff? No. It's a dead megalith up there. The megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. More workers. All right, three of these is usually plenty for defense. So I'll just get the army together. I'll take a hike off into the woods. It's quite a few forces. Oh yeah, I forgot. Colossi are so fucking tall that they can be hit by air units. Ensure not reach our nexus point. All right, since come back this way. Uh, screw it. Attack move. What's the worst that could happen? I need an energizer, so I have a little by. Uh, I'm having an iron right Speaking is hard. Done with anyway, energizer, so I have a mobile pylon. For its next move. I need another forge. I need Vespin. I need this pylon down here. Vanguard. Why not? Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to Man, I love warp harmonization. Not having to wait for things to build, just deploy them. I need more Vespin so I can get more shit. I need to get some dragons. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. Oh golly, gee, the Willikers. Has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Uh, one of the secondaries is over here, I think. Yeah, here it is. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the Solarite components within. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. Get my forces together. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I walk the shadow path. Upgrade complete. All right, I need. Gotta make a pylon farm. I mean, all I can draw is stick figures, so... 
You already surpassed me in that, at least. The Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. Alright, got those upgrades going. I'm being attacked. Protect the Energizer. Alright, gents. Oh, are you fucking serious, Weather? Again? So it is storming outside. Again. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. As long as the storm doesn't get too loud, I'll keep going. Like, you know, not right overhead. Oh, the other power core is right there. I forgot that it's just kind of marked on the map. Let's grab a couple more of these. You can't stop me, Zerg. Only I can stop me, and I don't know the meaning of stop. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. Oh boy. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Oh, there's a cave over there too. Well, at least Solar Lance has enough damage to topple it. What's up here? This lock is almost destabilized. The Megalith will relocate shortly. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to There is an entire Zerg hive cluster up here, too. Inbound on my location where? The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. Oh, well, there's some nice worms. One of them, at least. Oh, wait, I have to come this way anyway. Oh. 
I am only now realizing that. Well, now it's just become the waiting game. This is why Protoss are the attack move faction. The Megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Well, now there's nothing else to do. Guess we'll see what's over here, if anything. A shortcut, it looks like. Yeah, shortcut. Why would you want to have both? Well... I think I can see why you would want to have both. Yeah, that's about what I was thinking. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. I might just stick with a 2D model at first, but Stasis that's still a long way off. Wait, I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. First off, I gotta get drawings made of myself. I mean, the whole reason it's so expensive is because it's kind of difficult to do blind. Making an entire model for someone for free is like... Either it's some kind of birthday gift or some shit, or... You just genuinely don't care about the money that much. Hey, the Vanguard can dance. Gloss, I won't dance though. Vanguard dances. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. We call our forces from Endion's service. We take this battle to Cybros. I guess I missed a Zerg structure. Oh well. A new faction has joined our forces in the War Council. 
Yes, yeah, Alarak, what do you I want? I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. Something like that. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from Malash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I care not for freedom that softens a people. I will dethrone Malash and save my kind from oblivion, but they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix machine as the new executor of the purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. He do got a point, though. Sort of. I got 20 solar right that I can't use. Cyros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage. Resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylam is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose like never before. And that is why. Oh, yeah, Chad, I've been working on schedule. So. Their fate I'm gonna start small. Without freedom, I think. A people can be unless I find time and lack of exhaustion between now and true. then. And yet, the Next stream will be Wednesday. Ill need of another enemy. And I believe Wednesday night, of course. Do not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are I need right. to mess with the widget the I have underneath my stream but it is and change the days on it. Thank you, my friend. Your plan worked, Carax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. It's always funny when a storm goes past and then it thunders once and then you don't hear anything else from it. Why was That's Aeon literally what happened. The world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros' stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. Probably not, but you know... We have received One can robotic hope. siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Well, I do like Havocs. I'm staying with Energizers because of the, uh... ...thing. Let's see. I do like Reavers. Let's try Reavers for a little bit. I can always switch these out later. My foot itches. Artanis, 
Alarak. I think the last time I played through this... Oh. I have to, like, spam click the fuck out of it, it seems. There we go. There's what you wanted, right, Nux? Hostile dancing detected. Any other secrets I should know about? I know about the, um, perfect pylon thingy. I found that by accident. I know a couple Easter eggs. Mostly in Heart of the Swarm. I'm sure I've missed a lot of stuff too, because I'm already on Cybros. These Zerg are truly as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. Those infestors go, leaking their sludge everywhere. And Amon's hybrid has begun fortifying the hives. We must hope for the aid of the uh -oh. purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Each is sealed by three null circuits. <laughs> Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. Is there anything on this level specifically, Next. If the Zerg destroy it, Cyrus falls as well. Is there any, like, Easter eggs on this mission? Specifically? We should try to locate the null circuits as soon as it is safe to do All right. so, Hierarch. Let's see. We advance. Artanis, there are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position. I would assume one of those ways is just clearing the map. circuit. Destroy it, and power should begin to flow again. So shall I Willingly. As the ah! As fate decrees. That's a lot of Zerglings. Don't waste your dash on a fucking creep tumor. Alright, come back for a second. Where's the other for the high circuit? Unquestioned willingly as fate. Oh, it's over here. Oh, I, I grow too many. Zerg force is preparing to move on the core matrix. Warriors, defend the core. We Order me to war. I need more cannons down there. Base is under attack. Well, this holds. So be it. Yeah, it'll hold just enough. Okay. We 
We should head out and destroy the null circuits. The purifiers will attack the Zerg and slow their attacks upon the core. For the Vanguards do a lot of damage. Energy flow increasing exponentially. It's working. The purifiers are activating. I am Executor Polarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Clolarian, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Seize your adjuration. Why do you seek the purifiers? Brothers, you were created to protect the Empire, yet we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes. To take up your ancient charge once more and join us as equals. We will see if you speak truth. You will aid us in oh, three, three, three. this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Sentinels, advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the invaders. I walk the shadowed path. I'm detecting a purifier awakening on its own. Wait, something is amiss. The AI has gone rogue. Its solarite memory lattice has grown irreversibly unstable. We should disable it. At least we can put its solarite to use. God damn it. Assholes. Okay. So I guess they're just gonna go vibe up there. Are reacting to our battle plan. They have begun guarding the null circuits. I just don't suppose they spawn more. Although it doesn't look like they need more anyway. So shall I. Oh, I need an energizer. Cry about that for a second. Let's see. They can try. But I'd like to see them break through this defensive line. Grant me my end. Appetescent. Willingly. Base is under attack. For the high. Oh, they just leave the map when they're done. thing I gotta kill is up there, though. Let me unlock this null circuit and then I'll go deal with it. Null circuits destroyed. Oops. Station at half power. Well, they're all dead. Under assault by alien forces. Move out and eliminate. One hundred and five damage. The 
firstborn. I remember. Betrayal. Death. Unacceptable. You got the Centurions. There's enough of you, I think. What? So I continue this music. Don't I have that on? Oh, I don't. I wasn't paying attention to that. I think I kind of have the music a little bit quiet anyway. I'll turn the music up a little bit now that you've informed me of this. Understood, Phoenix. I will see Might the have to turn it up more. Is recovered properly. There we go, completely out of resources. Exactly what I meant to do. Alright, where's the next null circuit? Here we go. One's up a ramp, cool. Hydra's got screwed. Uh oh. Dragoons! The Reaver is in trouble! Where are you guys going? Energizer, I thought it lost them all. Blood Hunters, get another Reaver and a Vanguard. More Centurions. Dragoons. Come along, my little caterpillars of doom. Circuits is located here. Base is under attack. Uh oh, hybrid. Uh, fuck you. 
Question mark? God damn it, Blood Hunters! Stop stunning the building. I need to kill it. The third quadrant is coming online now. Cybros is at seventy-five percent power. Time for a pylon farm. I got enough resources for it anyway. What's the worst that could happen letting them do their own thing? Look at the little reavers go! <laughs> Leavers are adorable. Get in there, gents! That's it! Seals are fully unlocked! Cybros is awakening. I think I'm gonna stick with Reavers over Colossi. They're a lot more fun. Cybros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers! Slaughter them to the last. Wait, I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activating. It's going to fire. Larian, what are you? Commencing purification. Uh oh. Rip Indian. Zerg biosigns disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Oof. I could have done that if I actually tried. Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. In 
Executor Clolarian. You have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the Purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. If we are to follow, we would ask the entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the Purifiers shall join the Firstborn. Well, that was easy. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. This errand of yours has been a waste of our time. We should leave for slain. The Purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. <laughs> Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this. Have you considered chopping off your nerve cords, Johanna? All suffering, all conflict results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside. But, for them to suffer. These purifiers have joined our army. Let's see. Our it seems they are willing to serve you, for now. It is a good day. Probably just stay with Marat Corsairs. Not like I use these anyway. We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Phoenix, I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious. Slayed enemies, the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, you have proven to be of equal bravery. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. Yes, Kerax, what do you want? I've been analyzing the purifier bodies en masse. Their systems function more effectively when in proximity to each other. Outlying protocols can be offloaded to unoccupied cores. What does any of that mean, Kerax? Their data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. Interesting. Yes, however, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. 
The engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. All right, what did you unlock for me, Karax? Is it anything useful? All friendly units gain. Reconstruction beam sounds cool, but I don't have enough solarite for that. Let's go guardian shell for now. A shame. I was enjoying the solitude. Oh, shut up, Alaric. <laughs> Revan Sky? What's that Revan Sky? It brings me great joy that the purifiers have chosen to join the day law. With Don't worry, Alarak, just for you. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command. Poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. I don't micro often. Swiftly. So, keeping Energizers actually deployed while I'm attacking things, I would probably forget to do that a lot, and it would kind of go to waste. All I use Energizers for is mobile pylons, so I don't have to build more of them as I go around the map. the ruler of an entire people and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. Oh boy, look at all these conversations I have to get through before I can start the mission. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces. Who gone needs missing. super buffs when you can stories. just have an army of energizers and reavers shooting up their scarabs at Mach 5? Imagine if all this time, we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. There are things I understand You haven't been possessed in a while, Rohana. You must be really lucky. Their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending a cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood. Any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are hey, Paladin. To What's the up? most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? 
He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Alright, don't give me pearl with Pylon. Arak is the best fucking character in Le Legacy of the Void, Chief. In order to invoke the challenge I missed two of these. Here, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. You forget who you speak to. I vouch for evil in almost all of its forms. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nux here told me about that. I didn't know that was a thing. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait. What is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will Can I go out into the fog? I can't remember if it damages me or not. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the guard. Alarak is an asshole, clear. but he's a fun asshole. The Terrazine flows. We must endure the onslaught. The Terrazine. I crossed my leg and now it's stuck under me. Ow. Be vigilant. Stupid chair. Void rays can now be warped Shut up, in our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faith Smith. We will make good use of them. Can't wait to probably not use these. Channel the light Actually, light. I might. I do use Void Rays, usually. It says Mirages in the normal shit I won't use. Veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. Charged. Ah, my leg. Are you not already a fun asshole? I mean, at the very least, you're an asshole. <laughs> An then again, we're all assholes, so... If I build a big enough defense, I can probably just fuck around out there and... Oh no. Guardian 
stand watch over the shrine. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. No, no, our Tannis has got a point. Slowly and painfully is more fun. Uh, I don't think there are any, but I can do this. I can make the Centurions dance. Oh, they have different dances. That's... I didn't expect that. I wish Dragoons could dance. I think Stalkers can dance. Surface. Hierarch, I was able to scan the Tal'Darine motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. We are at full power. Pass our shot. It's a good thing these are just normal immortals. I wish I knew how much damage this bastard did. Quite a bit, it seems. This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. I walk the shadowed path. I'm gonna need more defenses. Definitely gonna need more pylons too. Upgrade complete. We are at full. You must place that in the power field. How many mothership motherships? How many void rays does it take to kill a mothership? And is the mothership guarded? Systems at full. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. Alright, um... Oh, it's coming this way. Come on, you can do it! Kill it! We have destroyed a Tal'Darine mothership. Excellent. Only one remains. Alright, they're dead, whatever. My army is very small right now. Uh, 
I guess I'll stick a pylon farm here. I'm gonna definitely need it eventually. Gonna need more shield batteries up there. fumes are gone. Continue your hunt, Artanas. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm sorry that you say something. Ships are heading towards our Nexus hierarchy. Bring them down. They're not gonna do much, I don't think. Uh yeah, they're not gonna do much, it's just scouts. Not the pylon! I guess I'll seal this off because there's no reason to go this way anymore. I take out that mothership. Upgrade complete. Prismatic core online. The hour is upon us. I wonder if this is enough to deal with it. Almost. You should have everything now, face me. There we go. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. Terrible things. Terrible, terrible things. Long gents. Do you sense it, Tarazine? A shame you have no time to enjoy it with Avon's forces coming after you. Your power is greater than we believed, firstborn. So thrilling. Why not join us? Because he's lazy. Well, I must save my strength. Face Malash, of course. Base is under attack. That's a lot of scouts. Oblivion. 
I want reavers. You must place that in a power field. You require Well, that amount of minerals because I'm an idiot. Give me that Tempest. Yeah, I can have Reaver now. Base is under attack. That's a lot of shit. This is some gigantic attack waves, huh? Gonna attack me with my way across the way. Oh no, that poor single pylon up there. Whatever will I do? I don't need it. How do I get down from here? Ah yes, the other staircase. How could I be so blind and dumb? Base is under attack. I'm not gonna waste that. You must construct additional pylons. I have returned. All right, army, let's go. Whatever they got up here, kill it or mind control it. This is mine now. You have no say in the matter. <laughs> Give me that too. <laughs> uh, mind control shenanigans are the best. I greatly enjoyed doing this bullshit and hire the swarm with the permanent neural parasites of the infestors. We don't need no gods here, holy demons. You go to your death, Alarak. The Dark God will destroy you. I have heard enough of his lies. Your 
ritual is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of the ritual, but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. Oh, now the time has come. Hi, Lord, hear me. I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward. We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. Malash's model looks like a hell of a lot bigger than his... ...the other axe. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes. I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no collar for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume I wonder if Alarak, Alarak has nerve cords, or if he just has a metal nerve cord. A, to win first. a false nerve cord, the one could say. Is already won. In my mind's eye, it's hard to I tell with him, since he's like the only Protoss as completely armored. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid my No, 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 Artanis, the lion is. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> Kerax, the Keystone, it's reacting to void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terezine must be directly linked to the Void. The Tal'Darim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezine and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezine like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us. Break it into a million pieces by accident, and this is the only keystone we have. Our results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. All right, twice solarite that I can't use on anything. Artanis, Hierarch of the this chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy, servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as I want to know how the various Protoss the factions came to be. Why are normal Protoss blue with blue skin? Nerezim are purple with green skin. And Taldarim are pale albinos with red eyes. And how did that happen? Alright, Colossus, calm down. 
What do you want? The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. Destruction is at hand. <laughs> Racial profiling. The robotics are now online, higher up. In my StarCraft 2, it's more likely than you think. I'm gonna stick with Reavers. I like Reavers more. I might put those destroyers to use though. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this right? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Believe me, it is time to make preparation. Said Alarak, standing on the bridge of my ship. The darkness within calls for the blood of Malash. Now is the hour of my ascendance. Let Rakshir commence! of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgari, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara. But likewise, the Taldarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Here we go. Taldarim will send warriors to aid Malash shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. Malash is drawing power from the Taldarim. I'm just gonna sit here so he can't get pushed past me. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash. You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. A little overzealous, aren't you, the air, Alarak? What are you up to, Paladin? <clears throat> Wasn't TF2 plagued with bots?
Is it possible to find servers that don't have bots, or is it like all bad? understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. However, I think it best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch. Well, that's good. It would be wise for us to build a second nexus here. Man, destroyers are fun to use. All right, I don't have a forge. I need to like make a kill force so I can go deal with those things. Hello, light side. Welcome to stare at a wall while amassing mineral simulator. What's that? Oh, shit. On our nexus point. Brothers. Attack the firstborn directly! I Maybe I should use a destroyer, actually. I think the elementals are flying units. This might be the one time I make mirages. Why have you ran ahead? Amon's harbingers join our struggle. Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into hybrid. Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. Stop pushing forward! What are you doing? We need you idiots to stay at this corner. Please.
All right. Out of minerals. Have fun, Alarak, wherever you're going. I'm not sure how strong these slain elementals are. Ah, at last. Honor through All the cannons are working out. Ah, fuck. terribly. has been slain. Oh, now I have to get through this shit. Time pylon, thank you. <laughs> Campaign's going well. us from the upper pathway. Prepare our defenses. Taldarim, slaughter the firstborn, and your ascension will be assured. Only destruction awaits our What's under attack and why is it under attack? Why are you attacking over there? Leave them alone. All the Corsair has to do is get over there, and then I'll put down a pylon, and we will wreck shit. Motherfucker! Let us 
I thought I was smart. But the slain elemental is clearly smarter. Well. Dragoons, I've got a mission for you. Have fun. Okay. They'll handle that. Oh, I have level three now. Okay. I was going to build something. I forgot what I was going to build. Oh yeah, more more of these. Okay. Locking on to the beast's coordinates. Revise me. It aboard. I'm just a casual player anyway. You think you're funny? Void Ray? You know how expensive these defenses are? No need to defend the base if you're fucking off in, with about a jillion cannons. Cub Dragoons. Uh, Vespin. May I be of service? Eyes to the horizon. All right, I can't fly over. Uh, this is normal. The great dragoon migration will move up while I look away. Poor bastards are so dead. I shall be swift. Need a pylon farm because I'm out of supply. Upgrade completes. Ready for Stand ready. Watch those horizons. 
Now I have all of them. Dragoon migration. My Go. Scans indicate that the solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're? Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. Our confrontation draws to a close. Well, that's fast. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Nothing stops the Dragoon migration. The March of the Dragoons. Okay, maybe this will stop them. Temporarily. Go, little reavers! Shoot your scarabs! Kill everything! You talk a lot of shit for being right at the end of the level, Malash. Energizers because it means I don't have to follow my army around with a probe building um, pylons. And I can also save up the solarite energy to use for solar lances and stuff instead of deploying pylons. Plus, their little uh, speed boost thingy is pretty fun. between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Well, he is Taldarine, well, well, Paladin. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Atherak likes his bargains. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. Do Protoss that bleed? That's what I am counting on. I thought to just kinda. The soul kinda leaves their body.
Yeah, I can get reconstruction beam now. There is still much to Rohana. I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ayr. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. False Zelmaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. I gotta say, Rohana is my least favorite Protoss aboard this vessel. The is not of them now, but what becomes of them? If Amon is defeated, you fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know, I don't know. She's just like stuck in her old ways. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us. And I can't think of a, a single time where anything she has said has been place. taken to heart. She's kind of spouts her mumbo jumbo, and her hands like, "Cool, you're wrong." Like Moving on. Of a cloth. We must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what Which I guess makes sense. She's a preserver. She was in stasis on this ship for God knows how long. Changing us. Yes. We I will don't know. Be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce. But strong. Vengeance for the betrayed. Um. No, stick with Dark Archons because I can capture people with them. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Kind of. Paladin? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. The Taldarim and Alarak have joined Yay, we get fight. carriers now. Hierarch, as ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Core to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Carax, what do you know of their defenses? Oh, I think I remember the what this mission is. The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Core's vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. The Spear of Adun is gigantic compared to these little battle cruisers. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of Adun fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. The Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know.
know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. Poor K-Rex. Here we go. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. Victory awaits. I stand ready. Let us I'll probably go full air this army for this one. Locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. The shadow spreads. Ah, at last. Give us your command. The guard. For soon, victory awaits. Honor through valor. This is gonna be a lot of sitting around and hoping I don't get too fucked over. The death fleet descends. Okay. We're going to be losing mostly air. You have not enough minerals. May I be of service? I stand honor. I'll leave these here. Wow, that destroyer got all kinds of screwed up. Okay. Now how do I get over here? Stop it! Access to the controls. The platform is operational. These navigational controls in the upper right of the command display will allow me to move it toward additional resources. The enemy will not be far, though. I should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate. Carax, we are having difficulty repelling the hybrid on the uh, I the lost tube. one of the fucking Have you destroyers. Their stasis chambers? My scans show two chambers nearby. They appear to run on Solarite. We could use it more than ever. Depleted. Mineral field depleted. Agree. I 
I think I should like only move the platform when I need to get somewhere or when I have completed everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will summon centurions to guard the platform though. Detecting several banshees approaching our nexus. Amon has awoken. We sleep no more. Whatever you say, bitch. Victory awaits. I am the Ember of Eternity. Let us proceed. Base is under attack. Agreed. Justice is served. To victory. Speak your command. victory. There we go. The time is now. I need to harvest as much gas as I can. Completely out of resources. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Oh, there's a lot more stuff here than I thought there was. There you go, my destroyers. What's here? Oh yeah, the first air. Somehow that building survived. We are ready. Some experiments should never be done. Should probably upgrade the armor too. Let us proceed. Speak victory of destruction awaits all traitors. I'll get to it in a second. Oh, destruction awaits our foes. Understood. 
Look at that fucking marine. I have no room to build on this platform. I think that I might want to just use carriers, honestly. None shall break up. We are poised, awaiting the call. We stand, Un Anakparu, to victory. Receiving, let us proceed. Victory, not a time, Sire. Upgrade complete. The time is now. What's up these oversized attack waves? The power core is destroyed. Mobius core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Faze Smith. Press on. Let us proceed. Oh boy. Let's see. That's like some kind of roundabout way around. Mineral field depleted. Justice is served. I gotta try and get to that secondary. Sounds like the storm's coming back again. Justice is served. Mineral field depleted. Agreed. Zara Kunul. I just see critical mass on carriers. No! The hybrid chambers are gone, and their solar right is ours. That went better than I'd hoped. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this platform.
attack. Oh no. Actually, wait, no. It's my pylon farm. I kind of need that. <laughs> Alright, where's my carriers? Victory awaits. Carrier has arrived. <laughs> Did I? I wasn't even paying attention, just kinda like, oh no. Time is now. Minerals. If I'm lucky, I won't need to bring the platform up here. Take him down, boys. The platform's power grid is nearly offline, Hierarch. There is only one more core. Well done, Carax. The attacks on the ship have slowed. Well done, friend Carax. Let us proceed. Carrier has arrived. I wonder what critical mass for carriers is. Probably basically hit it already. Oh, look, an attack wave. So, about that attack wave. I don't know what that achievement was for. I guess we'll find out later. That's a black hammer. Yeah, I suppose this is like... Nigh critical mass, if not actual critical mass. are walking away from the Spear of Adu. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. 
Go interceptors! Strike now. Hyrule, is the Spear of Adun secure? Yes. We repelled the invaders before they could reach the Solar Core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! Oh. How the fuck did I beat this the first time if I didn't have that achievement? Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Engineers are badass. Today, it is clear that the age of castes has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. If only it was that easy. Existence, but you will not stop me. Amon, I have destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back. You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron and die. He... he is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. Set a course for ire. The Spear of Adun has finished replicating a new combat unit. You can assign it to a... 
Hierarch. The purifiers are impressed. I think we're going to Iron next. They try so... to strike at the heart of Amar. Let's see. Friend Phoenix. They are in for three and a half hours. Yours. Uh... Yes. They have chosen to follow my command. I'm gonna get these Leadership conversations out of the way, and I think I'll end there. As is everything else. And also see what I have new not intended to become hierarch. Is. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Anything new that I can grab? Um... The Golden Armada has devastated... Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. Oh, they I can have Arbors now. I'm not gonna use them. Oh yeah, Tempest. I think I'm gonna go Tempest. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon. Unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ire. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. <coughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole. And it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Corps. There may have been a different way. No. Oh, Templar. Is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Okay. So many lost. We're gonna travel to Ayr so and not start the mission. Brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh, well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, 
and exists within it and Vakala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Iyer, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Uh, so many conversations. Your people are lost, Arpanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss. Burn the entire world. And well, I like your it. thought process, Alarak. No, Alarak. Where's if the fun in that? People, it will be done. Do not defy me on Shank this. Shank face to face, of old Of course, I have wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. Oh, God. Everyone wants to talk to me. I have such tangible memories of Iron. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera, its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took Kratos me to Aldera as a youngling too. It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. The Keystone is reacting to void energies so on the surface The Keystone does not look happy with us. But this scale... It's turn-coded. It, it turns Taldarine. Destroy it. How long until the Keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The Keystone shows clear evidence of tampering. Likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of a Zalnaga. You will find a way, Kerax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel, not a prison. The psionic matrix was first sparked 3,000 years ago. It is strange. Such a joyous event. And I, I better get an achievement for listening to all these conversations. History. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psy Matrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of the proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes. You must understand, though. To have so little of experience to recall it, my account is capable of flaws, of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our history should be viewed after all, without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. Ayer, some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris and have only heard tales of our homeland. 
I'm so curious how now that the power of the keystone Protoss reproduction grasp, works. Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes, though not as we initially suspected. Still, his tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I. Uh, what is the next mission? The Psi Matrix's power structures are accessible from three locations across Aya. We must divide our forces to destroy them. I shall coordinate you and your executor's efforts from aboard the Spear of Adun. We can begin as soon as you are Let's ready, see. Hyra. How tired am I? Can I survive another mission? Okay. If the mission after this is the one I think it is, then I'll end there. I'll do this one, though. If I'm right, then these are the f ugh, last two missions, and then the epilogue, three missions, so... Matrix is the beating heart of this is like a Before hero mission anyway, so it should go by pretty quickly. The planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I will send three forces. We shall destroy the Matrix before Amon can recall the Golden Armada to Ire. <clears throat> Antioch. Vorazum, Alarak, you must enter the citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure. But the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. Of course I am needed. So these are the Zerg who defeated you. Beautiful. They too shall fall before my power will live. As I tell me, how did you lose Ayer to these enemies? Did they Alarak is fucking powerful. Starships? The Zerg were once the greatest threat my Neither of them can attack up though. Only a fool would underestimate them. Well then, I will bow to your experience as the fool. I hesitate to think what you would do without me. You are about to find out. This gate is sealed from the other side, and I shall move through the shadows to open it. Erdeen Shakuras, the enemy will never see me. It is my Until they see me. Seers. They can detect my presence. Better to avoid them. There is much to be done. Goddamn fucking garbage. We stand with our allies. It is my honor. Do 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 Oh, Brizzoon's getting slightly fucked up. As I will it. Only because I will it. So goes the chain of ascension. As I desire. Naraz Gulia. 
I must infiltrate the enemy's forces and unseal the way forward. Fire it again. Nervous mutilisks are swarming on mass. I would do my best to remain undetected if I were you. We stand with our allies. Cooldowns, please. It is my honor. Our future is the Daylon. And Arudin Shakuras. Of course I am needed. So good. We have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you. As I will. We stand with our allies. Silly swarm hosts. Where's my mask? I agree with this chart. The inner chamber is completely sealed. My stealth will not avail us here. Then let us try a more direct approach. Guard me while I prepare. The Zerg will surely sense my growing power. Council. Alarak's gonna do a big boom. Hopes that Alarak has a life steal. No more. Contact the others and tell them of the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Alert the next team that they may begin. No, that was totally all Alarak for his in. Carax, Phoenix, the loss of the first power structure has not gone unnoticed. Hybrid have convened to defend the area. Good. They shall suffer the full extent of my wrath. All in good time, friend Phoenix. The hybrid are a powerful foe. And if we're going to face them, we will need support. I spent quite some time studying void energy. I should be able to reclaim robotic units and structures from Amon. Then let us assemble our army so a hybrid may I never fall. noticed that Karax has three Robo Claws. I thought he had two. Amon shall not prevail. An immortal? I cannot free the pilot from Amon's grasp, but I should be able to take control of it. I am not detecting any robotic units ahead. I suppose now would be a good time to phase in some photon cannons. My expertise is you. The power structure lies ahead, but the temple grounds are vast. It is Ooh. raining again. Centuries, immortals, colossi, reavers. We should reclaim as many as possible before proceeding. I can reclaim the gateway and robotics facility in this area. We could then supplement our forces with the units of our choosing. A clever plan. Oh shit, I forgot Karax is weak as all hell. I'm curious, Fane Smith. Could you take control of me? If your systems were compromised by Amon, yes. 
I believe I could purify them. Naku of... Oh yeah, I was worried about this, and I remember Karax is fucking Speedy Gonzalez. I hear you. I concur. It will be. Ire will be restored. Shalala arise. You should not be in front, Karax. Shall not prevail. Progress is made by the bold. Purpose guides us. My expertise is yours. I'm detecting a robotic support bay nearby. If we can claim it, we can construct Colossi. The sign matrix. What may I resolve? A face smith is always prepared. I hear you. Progress is made by the bold. Did you? Amon shall not prevail. Ire will be restored. I concur. We are united. Karax, why do you walk Karax so fucking us. fast? The Psy Matrix will fall. Progress is made by the bold. It will be. I ask as Phoenix outruns the entire army. <laughs> Shalala Arai Daylam. Ire will be restored. I concur. It will be. Naku a fall ire. Yes, Hierarch. Progress is made by the bold. I just tried to hit R to reclaim, but that's not how that works. That's not the hockey. My expertise is yours. Purpose guides us. I will find the solution. We are united. Ire will be restored. The Psy Matrix will fall. Progress is made by the bold. I concur. We are united. A face smith is... Yes, Hierarch. I return to serve. Look at the size of this army. I return to serve. Yes, Hierarch. We are united. It will be. Ire will be restored. Progress is made by the bold. Purpose guides My sensors are showing a lot of reavers up ahead. Reclaiming them would be... Risky, but their firepower would be a huge asset. Progress is made by the bold. Uh, the storm outside is really bad right now. Surely the hybrid will be no match for us now. I believe you are right, friend Phoenix. Let us make for the power structure. Shanala Arai Dela. What may I resolve? I hear you. The crew of Fall Iron. Purpose guides us. The Psy Matrix will fall. What may I resolve? The way is open. Your crusade has failed. At this point, I need to speed run. This is made by the bold. With the hybrid eliminated, we can safely destroy the power structure. was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of Ire. Hierarch, 
I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. If it reaches your position... Do not fear, Karax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers deploying war prisons. The Taldarim shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. All right. Uh, weird place to end it since it's in the middle of a mission, but uh. Be swift, my brothers. The I think it's time to not get electrocuted. Thanks to all that watched, and um, we'll continue this Wednesday, and I will finish Legacy of the Void, and we can move on to Doom. Till then, see ya. <laughs>